Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my absolute favorite, and dare I say, the best newborn hacks. I've been sharing some of these over on my TikTok, so if you are on TikTok, definitely follow me over there. And I thought I would sit down and share them with my YouTube family. So if you are brand new here, my name is Erica. I have a two and a half year old toddler as well as an eight week old newborn. And through trial and error, I've figured out that these indeed are some of the best hacks for just making my life as a mom that much easier. So I hope they help you as well. I'm going to break down this video into sections. I'm going to start with clothing hacks, then I'll move to diaper hacks, breastfeeding hacks, and then I'll finish with sleeping hacks. So let's jump in. We're going to start off with my favorite clothing hack that I've lovingly called the snap around clothing bundle hack very normal for newborns to have multiple blowouts during the day so it's a very smart idea to make sure that there are extra clothes in your diaper bag but to make sure your diaper bag stays very neat and tidy and organized especially if you have more than one child i think this newborn clothing bundle hack is perfect so what you're going to do is you're going to lay out a onesie that has snaps at the bottom pull the arms of that onesie inward on top of that onesie you're going to place any other clothes you want to include in that bundle so maybe it's a spare pair of pants or a hat or a little pair of socks and start to roll top to bottom once you get to the bottom of that bundle you're going to take the bottom snaps and wrap them around and just give them a snap and there you go a little clothing bundle that fits nice and compactly into your diaper bag. Now let's say you want to bring a sleeper with you, a bulkier sleeper. Maybe there are a couple extra clothes you want to pack in there that won't necessarily fit on top of a little onesie. So you're going to practically do the exact same thing. However, and here's the trick, you're going to include a pair of adult socks. <laughs> Stick with me here, it sounds a little bit weird. You're going to lay out your sleeper, fold the arms of the sleeper inward, and then again, any other clothes you wanna bring for your newborn right on top of that sleeper. And in the middle of that sleeper, you're going to lay two adult socks. You're going to make sure that the top elastic rim of those socks are facing outwards, and then start to roll top to bottom. Make sure that the socks stay in place. Once you've rolled your bundle, you're going to take the top elastic part of your socks and flip it around the bundle, securing everything in place. And and there you go, another compact clothing bundle. The next hack has to do with the shape of the neck of baby onesies, and this is really cool. So you'll see a lip on most baby onesies, and this isn't for fashion or style, and it isn't just to fit over their heads. It's so that a onesie can be pulled downward in case, again, like we talked about, newborns have a lot of blowouts. If your newborn is to have a blowout, you can take that onesie and just scoot it down their body instead of having to pull it over their head. How cool is that? Another cool common design of onesies nowadays are that in newborn onesies, a lot come with fold over mittens. And this is a great hack because little newborn mittens are like little socks. They go missing. When you are doing any shopping or you're creating your baby registry, make sure that you register for those onesies that have the mittens already built into them. But let's say that your newborn is in a sleeper or is in a onesie that doesn't have mittens and you don't have any on hand. This is a really great and super simple hack. All you need are a pair of newborn socks. Take a pair of newborn socks, just slip them over your newborn's hands and voila, a pair of makeshift mittens. And I actually prefer the socks to the mittens because not only do they work double duty, you can use them as socks or mittens, but they have a lot of elastic so they don't slip off quite as easily. The last two clothing hacks are ones that are perfect for those colder months or if you live in a cold climate. Let's say that your newborn is in a fleece sleeper and let me just say the two way zip up sleepers that Carter's came out with are an absolute game changer and like the hack to end all hacks. But let's say they're in a sleeper, they don't have any mittens on and you feel like it's a little bit cold, you can include one of those onesies with the mittens on underneath the fleece sleeper to make sure that they're extra warm. You can also throw a pair of pants or a pair of socks on them underneath the fleece sleeper to keep them extra snug. Now let's move on to diaper hacks. The first diaper hack is a design feature on most diapers and that is the wetness indicator. Most diapers, you will see a yellow line down the middle front portion of the diaper. That line is there to let you know if your newborn's diaper needs to be changed. If your newborn's diaper is dry, it'll stay yellow, and if it needs to be changed, it'll be blue. It's a really quick and easy way to check to see if you need to change your newborn, which is really handy if you are out and about. Next hack is for those very early, very first few weeks of your newborn's life, and that is the diaper fold down. After your newborn's umbilical cord gets cut, your doctor will tell you to try to keep that area 
of your newborn as dry and clean as possible. So the best way to do that is to fold the top of your newborn's diaper downward, ensuring that that area stays dry and doesn't get irritated by the diaper. You'll also see on a lot of newborn diapers that the top portion has a slight indent where the belly button is anyway, but in case the diaper is still too big, folding the top down is a really, really great hack. The next hack is a great one to be aware of if you have a bunch of different sizes of diapers in your house, and that is that the size of the diaper is usually written on the front of said diaper. Especially when the diapers are so little, it can be hard to know the difference between a size one and a size two. So just seeing the number right on the front of the diaper is so great. Next hack is another design feature of the diaper, and that is the ruffles around the little thighs. So we want to make sure that those ruffles are pulled out of the diaper. That will just ensure a really snug fit of your diaper, making sure sure that all that wet stays in. Next hack might be a bit of an obvious one and that is to keep as much of your diaper changing necessities as close to baby as possible. So keeping your diapers, keeping your wipes, keeping your extra wipes and your extra diapers and your diaper pail as close to where you're changing baby as possible. I've made this mistake a few times where I've been changing one of my boys and looked over and the diaper pail was far outside of my reach or the extra wipes were out far outside of my reach and that can be a really tricky scenario so just keep everything as close to where you're changing baby as possible last diaper hack has to do with keeping everyone dry if you have especially a little boy then you know when you're changing them things can get kind of crazy kind of quickly so you want to make sure that they are staying nice and warm that way they don't pee all over you essentially so a really great hack to try is to take a wipe and just wipe right underneath their belly button before you take their diaper off or have a washcloth handy and make sure you cover them while you're changing them. Let's move in now to a breastfeeding hacks. First breastfeeding hack is one of my favorite ones and it's incredibly simple, incredibly straightforward, and that is wearing a scrunchie or hair tie on your wrist. And then changing that scrunchie or hair tie has an indicator to the future you on which side you need to breastfeed off next. That's so easy, so straightforward, and really helps at like 2.30, 3.30, 4.30 in the morning. But let's say you don't wanna wear a scrunchie or a hair tie on your wrist. Another really simple and easy way to let yourself know which side to feed off of is tying a hair tie on your bra strap or on your tank top strap or using a hair clip and doing the exact same thing. So just changing that hair clip from side to side when you're done breastfeeding to indicate which side to feed off next. If you are someone who likes to use a swaddle to cover yourself while you're breastfeeding, then you probably know that there is definitely a chance of your newborn or your little baby pulling that swaddle off of you. And if you're using that in public, it can be a little bit jarring. A really great hack is to tie part of the swaddle around, again, your bra strap or your tank top, or to tie the swaddle around your neck like a scarf. That way there's less of a chance of when your newborn or your baby tugs at the swaddle that it'll come off. Let's talk about burping hacks. The thing that I found to be the most helpful is using gravity. So what I'll do is usually after my son feeds, I'll lay him on my chest. That way there's some pressure, gravity is pushing into his body and his stomach is being pushed into mine and I lean back. So having my body on that incline, laying back, getting him, patting him on the back, rubbing his back in circular motion, I find really, really helps. After I lay back with him, patting his back, rubbing his back, I'll stand up and I'll just bounce with him a little bit. And usually that combination of gravity on his body versus like, the slight decompression of his spine when I then lift him and start bouncing him slightly really really helps with getting that gas out. All right let's jump in to some sleeping hacks because we all know any help we can get with newborn sleep is the absolute best. Next hack is a bit of advice and that is to keep the room that your newborn is sleeping in as dark as possible. So when it comes to newborn sleep we want to mimic the womb. You just spent nine to ten months in your uterus in a very dark moist kind of loud environment so we want to mimic that to help aid in making as optimal a sleep environment as possible so keep the room as dark as possible also invest in a sound machine a sound machine i had no idea about a sound machine with my first son 
get a sound machine my absolute favorite one is the one back here and that is the hatch sound machine it has a bunch of different settings it also has different color settings in a nice warm red light or an orange light purple light whatever light you want that also helps with breastfeeding in the middle of the night also has a bunch of different sounds so it can transition with your little one you can start with the white noise and then transition to ocean waves as they get older if that's what they like if the air in the room they're sleeping in is really dry try using a humidifier we humidifier right back here i think yep that's the safety first humidifier we have a vix one in my toddler's room that he really loves and then just make sure that you check the temperature of the room that they're sleeping in a really great hack for figuring out if your newborn is too hot is to check the back of their neck if their neck is really really hot or if they're sweating then obviously it's too hot you can also check to see the temperature of their hands and their feet if their hands feel really really cold you can slide on some mittens or some socks and that goes for their feetsies as well and those are all of my newborn hacks if there were any that i missed definitely leave them down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys